Parenteral nutrition is a life-saving therapy that allows for the delivery of all the essential nutrients when the gastrointestinal tract is not functional. Patients can survive for days to weeks to years on parenteral nutrition, but it should only be used when meeting their nutritional demands through eating and or tube feeding is not feasible. This is because it carries a higher risk for complications such as infection, gut atrophy, and liver dysfunction. It is also considerably more expensive than the alternatives. When determining if a patient is a good candidate to receive parenteral nutrition, close attention must be paid to the nutritional status of the patient and the length of time they are anticipated to be unable to receive adequate energy from food or tube feeding. If a patient satisfies at least two of the criteria for malnutrition, they should be considered for parenteral nutrition as soon as it is determined that the gastrointestinal tract cannot be used. If a patient is generally well-nourished, they can be treated with standard IV fluids for up to seven days before being considered for parenteral nutrition. The total waiting period should last no more than 14 days. In some circumstances, a patient will be receiving food and or tube feeding, but will be unable to sustain adequate intake due to a complication like malabsorption or vomiting. When this happens, a patient should be considered for parenteral nutrition if they are unable to achieve an intake of greater than 60% of the estimated energy needs after 7 to 10 days. No matter the circumstance that leads to parenteral nutrition being used, it should be kept until adequate intake from food and or tube feeding is achieved and the patient demonstrates the capacity to tolerate it. Greater than 60% of the estimated energy demands is the most common threshold used to justify weaning. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.